Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a great question, 3 to the x plus 9 to the x plus 27 to the x equal to 14, we need to solve this question for x, so if you have your solution, your answer, your approach, you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check our answers. So first of all, this 9 can be written as 3 square, this 27 can be written as 3 cubed, so then we can work with the with the same base, so 3, 3 and 3, so let's start with this, so let's express this 9 as 3 square. So first of all, we have 3 to the x, we just leave it like that, without any changes, plus 3 to the power 2, we're gonna write instead of this 9, yeah, to the power x, and plus, instead of 27, we're gonna write 3 cube raised to the power x equal to equal to 14. So I really hope you understand this first step, we just change 9 by 3 squares of the same thing, and 27 by 3 cube. Right now we need to know a rule about the rule of interchange. This rule looks like that, so basically we can easily swap these x and 2 uh, places, so we can write this x inside, this 3 outside. This rule looks like that. When we have a to the power x raised to the power y, you can easily write it as a to the power y raised to the power x. It's because of multiplication. If you're talking about identity, we can write it as a to the power x times y, but in the same way, a to the power y times x. So that's why this rule works absolutely great. This is like, this property is extremely important in our case. So we can easily swap 2 and x places. Yeah, so let's do this. So we have 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power, not 2, but x inside parentheses, and 2 we have right here outside, plus 3 to the power x inside parentheses, and we have 3 outside equal to 14. So I really hope you understand it. This is like a first step, extremely important step. We have the same basis, and it's also really great to work with this expression right now, because we can easily write a substitution, so 3 to the x, 3 to the x, and 3 to the x are all the same expression, so we can write a substitution for better understanding, let's, uh, let's do this, so let, for it here, let's go from the, on the left side, so let, 3 to the power x, let's go with the, for example, let's go with, with t, doesn't matter, it's up to you, how can you express this, so 3 to the power x is equal to t, as a result, our equation looks like that, we have t plus t square plus t cube and I just, I just want to write this 14 on the left side, okay? So minus 14 equal to equal to 0. Right now it looks like this is a cubic equation, we have a third power, this is like the highest power, so we can easily work with this at the, at the cubic equation. But for better understanding, let's uh, change in order a little bit. First of all, let's write t cube on the first position, secondly t square on the, on the second position, the next we're gonna write t, and we have right here minus 14 equal to 0. Right now we can easily see that this is a cubic, a cubic equation. And you know there are a lot of ways how can we solve it. The first one is the is a Cardano formulas, but this is a long one. Exactly in this case, I just see that t equal to two is a factor. Okay, because because we have t when we plug in two, we have two cube plus two square plus plus two minus fourteen equal to zero. Yeah, t minus two is a first factor to our question. And let's keep in mind that t minus two is a factor. Okay, we can easily see from here that t equal to two is a solution to this question. And t minus 2 is a factor, I just want to do a really great uh, trick. This trick lo looks like that. We have t cube, I just want to write t cube, but instead of this t square, I just want to write minus 2 t square, minus 2 t square, and plus 3 t square, plus 3 t t square, okay? And instead of this t, I just want to write minus 6 t and plus 7 t, plus 7, 7 t, and minus 14, is equal to is equal to zero. Okay, so instead of this t square, I just write this one. The same expression. So we have minus t square plus three t square, also equal to t square. Instead of t from here, I just write this one minus six t plus seventy. So this is also equal to t. So the same expression as we had before, but with diff with a little bit changes. Yeah. In the next case, let's group these two variables, these two expressions, these two, and the last one. So, like three groups. Let's do this like three groups. The first one, we have t cubed minus 2t square, t cubed minus 2t square. The next thing, plus 3t square minus 60. And the last group, plus 70 minus minus 14. Okay, minus 14 equal to equal to zero. Right now, let's look close to what we have in each of these parentheses. t cubed minus 2t square. We can factor t square from here. Okay, t square. So we have t square. In parentheses, we're gonna get t minus 2. t minus 2. Plus, from here, what we can easily factor? 3t square minus 60. As a common, we can factor 3t. So plus 3t. And in parentheses, we have t minus 2. 
t minus 2. Plus, from here we can easily factor our 7. 7, and we have t minus 2. And as I said before, t uh, equal to 2 is uh, t minus 2 is a factor. We can easily see this right here, t minus 2, t minus 2, t minus 2. So we can easily factor it, we can easily factor it as a common. So let's do this right now. So we have t minus 2. And in another parenthesis, in the second parenthesis, we're going to get t square plus 3t and plus 7, yeah? So we have t square plus 3t and plus 7 is equal to 0. Really great. So finally, we factor our question. Right now, a product of two parentheses is equal to 0 when the first parenthesis is equal to 0. So we have t minus 2 is equal to 0. From here, our t first is equal to is equal to 2. So t first is equal to 2. We're gonna find x a little bit later, but before this let's solve the second quadratic equation. So t square plus 3t and plus 7 is equal to 0. With the basic method it's also it's up to you how can you solve this question, how do you prefer solving this question. I just prefer this basic method of coefficients. So a equal to 1, b equal to uh, right here we have 3 and c is equal to is equal to 7. So let's find real quick our discriminant. So discriminant is equal to b square minus 4ac. From here we have b square 3 square minus 4 times 1 times uh, times 7. 4 times 1 times 7 as a result of a discriminant is equal to 9 minus 28 is equal to minus 19. Okay, so it means that in this place, in this moment, we're going to get um, two complex roots, but let's solve it. Let's solve this question completely. So let's plug in each of these uh, elements into this spot. So uh, t second and third is equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over, all over to a. From here, minus b minus 3 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 19 and all over to a, 2 times 1. 2 times 2 times 1. Okay, let's simplify it. First of all, we can easily express this minus 19 as minus 1 times 19. So we have minus 3 plus minus square root of minus 1 times 19. Minus 1 times 19. Yeah. And we're gonna divide it by by 2. Right now this is a basic school property when you have um, a product, when you have a square root. So this property looks like that when you have square root of a times b, you can easily write it as square root of a times square root of square root of b. And right now let's apply this power rule, uh, not like power rule, this is like a square root property. Yeah? So we have minus 3 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of, of 19. Yeah? And we're going to divide it by 2. But this square root of 1, this is our complex unit, this is our imaginary unit, this is our i. So from here we can write that our t second and t third equal to minus 3 plus minus i square root of 19 and all over, all over we have 2. So this is our t second and t third. But just keep in mind that our uh, but 3 to the x is equal to t. So we need to solve additional uh, additional equation. So 3 to the power x equal to t. I just want to start with this t first because this is much faster. This is a faster to, uh, method to solve it because t equal to 2, 3 to the x equal to t. So from here we're gonna get the next equation. 3 to the power x is equal to is equal to 2. And from here we can easily find real quick our x. From here our x is equal to uh, log 2 over log log 3. And if you're interested in uh, like approximately answer, so x approximately equal to 0 0.631, 0 0.631. If you're interested in approximately answer, this is our x first. x first equal to log 2 over log 3. And we have right here our approximately answer. But uh, we have right here two pairs of complex roots. So let's find real quick our mm, our complex root. If you're interested in this, you can also see how can we find our complex root. So our uh, equation looks like that. So if you're talking about x second and third, we're going to get 3 to the power x equal to this expression, minus 3 plus minus. So we have minus 3, minus 3 plus minus i square root of 19 over over 2. We're going to apply basic log property. So as a result from here, our x second and third, if you're interested in this, we're going to factor one half as a common. So we have log one half and the second is this one, minus 3 plus minus i square root of 19. This is our, uh, our numerator. And with the same logic, we're going to divide it by the numerator, log 3, log 
log three. So these are our, these are our complex complex roots. So x first equal to log two over log three, zero point six three one, and we have right here our our uh, complex root. So let's write our final answer. Right now we can see a graph. You could see this like from from different perspective, from geometric perspective. So let's write our final answer to this uh, to this question right here at this place. So our answer, our answer, x first. So x first equal to log log two over log three, log two over log three, or approximately equal to zero point six three one. This root is real real number root, and we are talking about two complex root x second and third. If you're interested in this, of course, log one half minus three plus plus minus i square root of nineteen over log log three and this is a full solution to this a full solution to this question two complex roots right here with with i x second and third and we have right here one real number root 0 0.631 and this is my solution to this question so i really hope you understand it i really hope you learn something new you can also write your question write your thoughts in the comments below what do you think about it what do you think about this uh, this uh, solution, what do you think about this method, write your, write your thoughts, write your notes in the comments below, it's really interesting like to exchange information, to see the question from like different uh, different perspective, maybe you have your solution, your answer, your approach, and yeah, right now we can see real quick a solution to this question, so a cubic equation, this is up to you, this is my method, I really enjoy this method, like when I see a factor, like t minus 2, I just do few manipulations like this, yeah, I just want to express uh, these coefficients with, with this way and then I can easily factor t minus 2. This is my way, I just want you to see this way if you solve this question with the Cardano formulas, but for me Cardano formulas is a long one, but when you don't have a common thing, when you don't need, to, when you don't know how can we solve it, of course you, you need to use a Cardano formulas. In this way we can easily solve this, solve this cubic equation in one, one, right here we have first line, second line, third line, we factor it and of course you could see that in this third line you can easily solve this question without any discriminant, without any cubic, a cubic uh, roots. Yeah, so with this three line, you can easily uh, solve this this equation. And of course, two branches: first branch and the second branch. And as always, we have in the second branch we have complex roots. So I really hope you understand my solution. Write your thoughts, write your notes in the comments below. What do you think about this? about this solution and I really well, I want to say thank you for watching, thank you for supporting my channel, we have like more than 500 questions, so I really enjoy it and I hope you enjoy it as well thank you everyone for your time, take care of yourself have a great day, see you in the next videos and thank you for watching